Okay, we have some terrific visuals about how SIP panel roofs go in. As you progress the SIP panel from your corner, down the line, over a beam, eave wall, onto a gable, it's very important that you follow the nailing pattern for both splines and using our premier screws to attach them to the underlying support beams, walls, and the like. standing next to the beam that's going to be part of the hone to carry the roof of the home. And there's nice correlation between SIPs and ugly lamp beams. I think most of you are familiar with seeing these in restaurants and in different public buildings and libraries. And they are very, very strong. And the reason they're very, very strong is because they have the wood and fiber, obviously. But they're held together with a very strong structural adhesive. And guess what? Our SIPs are held together with the exact same adhesive, but done in a little bit different methodology, of course, but have the same superior strength because of the similar adhesive. Now that your SIP walls and roof panels are stood, it's important to protect them from weather, particularly in marine climates or uh, high rain event climates. So we recommend that you put on underlayment, even if it's temporary, over the roof panels, as well as protecting the walls with some type of a building wrap or liquid applied waterproof. For more information and details, please refer to the Premier Sips resource manual and visit our website at premiersips.com. <laughs>